Hi, Grace Center. How are you? I hope you're doing well. AJ and I are praying for you. We can't wait to be back together again as a church. In the meantime, I've got a thought for you today from the book of Lamentations. And I know what you're thinking. Lamentations? Are you serious? If you're not familiar with Lamentations, it's this book written about one of the bleakest uh, parts of Israel's history. Uh, it's a book of poetry. Uh, like I said, it's just one of the most despondent times in Israel's history. Jerusalem has been overthrown, it's been captured, there's death, there's bleakness, there's forsakenness everywhere. And it's not easy reading, you read through it, it's really, really, really scary. And so you might be thinking, Alan, why on earth are you using that book to find some encouragement? Because as you're reading it, you get to about the middle of the book, you get to about chapter 3, and out pops this really, really famous verse. Uh, that we're familiar with, but unless you knew that that verse was nestled in this um, valley of tragedy, it, it, you wouldn't know how much power these verses have. So let me read you these verses. The first one is from the NIV. It says this, Yes, this I call to mind, and therefore I have great hope. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed. For his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I say to myself, the Lord is my portion, therefore I will wait for him. The Lord is good to those whose hope is in him. The New Living Translation says it this way. Same verses, listen to how New Living Translation puts it. It this. Yet I still dare to hope when I remember this. The faithful love of the Lord never ends. His mercies never cease. Great is his faithfulness. His mercies begin afresh each morning. And I say to myself, the Lord is my inheritance. Therefore, I will hope in him. The Lord is good to those who depend on him, to those who search for him. So again, nestled in these, these five chapters of horrendous poetry, like, well, it's not that the poetry is bad, but the, the topic is bad. This poetry all about the destruction and the calamity of Jerusalem, you find these beautiful, beautiful verses of which I want to give you three different encouragements with. Encouragement number one is to remind yourself. The author of Lamentation starts by saying, yet this I will call to mind. What starts his turnaround um, is his remembrance of when the Lord was good to him. And because of his remembrance that the Lord was good to him, he's encouraged that the Lord can be good to him. Often in life, we experience things that shake us. I don't know how you're doing in this season of COVID, uh, but we go through events, things happen to us, it shakes our faith. Being shaken is okay because it tells you what you are relying on. But once you're shaken, remind yourself, call to mind the stuff that God's done for you to recalibrate you in that shaking season. The second thing I want to encourage you with is to hope for yourself because nobody else can do that for you. In the New Living Translation, it said, yet I still dare to hope when I remember this. Your remembering is the, the fuel for your hoping. So step one is to, is to remind yourself. Step two is to use what you've reminded yourself about God's goodness to provide you with hope. And he goes on and says, the Lord is my inheritance. Because the Lord is my inheritance, I will hope in him. Having hope in him is, is much harder than just allowing the circumstances of life to lead you to despondency. But despondency leads you n nowhere. So allow your hope in God to fuel you for what he's going to do for you in your life. And then number three, the third thing to do is to speak to yourself. If all the voices in your life are negative, my encouragement is to, is to start speaking to yourself the truth of God's word. Speak to yourself. Uh, the author says, I say to myself, the Lord is my position, therefore I will wait for him. Speak out the truth that you have forgotten to course correct your life. So that's my three encouragements for you today, is to remind yourself of what God has done, is to allow what you've reminded yourself to, to produce hope, and then to speak to yourself, to declare what God is gonna do. Grace Center, we love you, we are praying for you, we are believing God's goodness for you, and I'm praying that today is a great day full of God's rich encouragement for you. God bless you.